Hello everyone, and welcome to the third week of May 2023 Railfin Updates and Announcements. We have a big project coming in the future at the Museum of the American Railroad in Frisco, Texas, just north of Dallas. This big project includes 10 rows of exhibit track in a 1910 or 1920s era train shed to protect the equipment from the weather elements. Click on the links to the museum's website and the article in the description box down below. Next up, we have Metro North Railroad celebrating their 40th anniversary. By doing so, five of their locomotives, including locomotive number 208, will have or received a special edition wrapping. Coming in June 10th and 11th of 2023, the Black River and Western Railroad in Rinkos, New Jersey will have their Railroad Heritage Days event. This event will include train rides, tours of the railroad caboose, historic diesel locomotives, demonstrations of maintenance of way equipment, and more. The excursion trains will depart from the Flemington Station and click on the link below in the description box to buy your tickets today. Here's another update on the Nickel Play Railroad painted Alco PA Diesel Locomotive number 190. The locomotive will be on display at Steamtown National Historic Site temporarily. Then it will likely move in June to GVT's nearby Von Storch Locomotive Shop, also in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And eventually the locomotive's evaluation and full restoration will be completed. The Seashore Trolley Museum in Kennebunkport, Maine recently received a grant of $20,000 from the Kennebunk Savings. The grant money will go towards the museum's visitor center revitalization project and will be used to upgrade the flooring in the museum's lobby and exhibit rooms. Visit the museum's website at trolleymuseum.org. Coming in October 21st of 2023, the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore, Maryland will have its Diesel Days event that will showcase the museum's diesel locomotive collection for photos and videos. The locomotives that will be featured in this event include Domino Sugar Sweet Tooth, B&O number 1507, B&O number 6944, and more. Also visit this museum's website at www.borail.org. The Station Inn, located in Crescent, Pennsylvania, will have a 30th anniversary celebration with a community party this coming July 15th. There will also be renovations to this bed and breakfast hotel. The special event will feature food, live music, tours of the inn, and other activities for all ages. And this event will take place from 12 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Click on the links below in the description box to learn more and even plan your future stay at this inn, as well as a Railfan and Railroad Magazine article. We have an update from the Conway Scenic Railroad in New Hampshire. This tourist railroad recently acquired two passenger cars. A former Amtrak baggage car will be converted into a head and power car and a former Wrangling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus Train sleeping car will be used as a crew car for seasonal employees. Click on the link in the description box down below and purchase your tickets for the Conway Scenic Railroad excursions today. We now have more exciting steam locomotive announcements. I have been told that the Texas State Railroad will have Southern Pacific 982's whistle on engine number 30. And crews from the Southern Pacific 982 will visit the Texas State Railroad in May 27th on Saturday to answer any questions any folks will have about the Southern Pacific 982 restoration. Please continue supporting the Southern Pacific 982 restoration by donating via the link that will provide in the description box down below. Next up, we have an update from the Union Pacific Steam Crew in Cheyenne, Wyoming. On June 7th of 2023, Union Pacific Big Boy No. 4014 will depart Cheyenne, Wyoming and route to Omaha, Nebraska for the College World Series. I will leave a link to the Union Pacific 4014 schedule in the description box down below. And we'll finish this episode off with a very, very exciting announcement from the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad in Western North Carolina. The Taurus Railroad has eventually began the restoration of former Southern Railway 280 Consolidation No. 722. 
722 is known for its iconic green paint scheme, which the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad plans to continue to use. The 722 will also undergo conversion from coal to oil. And the restoration process anticipated to be completed in early 2026. I will also leave the link to the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad's website in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. To stay up to date on Railfan updates and announcements videos in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. I will leave a playlist of the Railfan updates and announcements videos on the left, as well as another video that YouTube will recommend for you on the right. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media pages. That is all for this week. This is Transcontinental Railfan, out.